Welcome to Wednesday, December 31st, 2025, your day where the podcast brought to you by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. If you've been injured in an accident, don't face it alone. Get an experienced local Wyoming attorney on your side. Free consultations at wyomingadvocates.com or call 307-800-1952. You deserve an advocate. Well, another West Coast storm system is going to be quite active. Actually, it's going to come in two pieces over the course of the next four to five days. But overall, for the Intermountain West and the Plain States, a very quiet end to the year. It's going to be another pretty day. Sure, some breezy areas, but overall, we've had some lot of dark blue skies here and beautiful shots like you're seeing there from the Tetons with the fresh snow from recent stormy weather and now the high pressure. But low pressure is going to start to dominate along the West Coast today and then pushing inland tomorrow and into Friday. This system that's going to affect the West Coast is kind of in two phases. The first phase won't be the strongest. The second one will, especially for California and parts of the desert Southwest. Some of that moisture will get to areas along the Continental Divide and west of the Divide tomorrow and Friday and again over the weekend. And we'll continue to update you on the blocking pattern. Beautiful shot there from Jan. You can see how good the visibility is. If you look at the bottom of the photo there, you can see Long's Peak in Colorado shot right down that front range. Great visibility in the clear skies and the very dry air that moved in behind that cold front on Sunday. And more of the same, looks like a shot from October not late December there. Then a beautiful shot, Needles, California, of a sunrise or sunset. Not sure what that is, but nonetheless, we've had beautiful sky photo opportunities, and that will continue like this one here from Belle Fouche. And then how about that for a variety of color? Another beautiful shot from Dave Bell of the Wind River Mountains with that orange sky, the snow, and just awesome scenery, just beautiful. Another great shot there of the Grand Tetons from the west side. Again, when you get blue skies like this, and that contrast with that snow, it just makes for a wonderful setting. We're going to have more of those blue skies across the Intermountain West and the Western High Plains here today. This oval of clear skies and high pressure just continues here and will for another day. But as you can see, here's an upper level low off the coast of California, another low up here off the coast of British Columbia. This is what's gonna come down in phase two. Phase one is this push of deep subtropical moisture inland, bringing increasing rain shower activity to California today. Then this moisture is gonna push east overnight tonight and into the day Thursday to areas along and west of the divide, as you'll see here in a moment. If you take a look at where we have winter weather advisories and other winter weather across the region, again, it's the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes, lake effect snows, snow into the Appalachians there and the mountains of West Virginia and Pennsylvania, gonna see some winter weather, then anticipating more flooding potential there in California and the first round of snow to the Sierras. But a lot of the nation's midsection gonna ring in the new year very, very quietly. And this is why. There's that upper level low that's not very strong, but it is very moist. This system is going to come in right behind it, much like the system did last week. And there are our blocks near Greenland and up here into the Aleutians. And they're going to hold here through the weekend and into the start of next week. This is by Friday. So the low that's right here today by Friday is going to be pushing through the central Rockies. So this, while it doesn't look like much, it's moist. So it is going to produce a little bit of weather as it moves through. Then the main low gets better consolidated off the coast of Northern California and will continue into the West Coast into the upcoming weekend. Then as we look at precipitation through Friday. So through Friday, nowhere near the intensity of last week's storm, but remember there's another piece coming. So there's going to be some good rain for California, showers spreading into the desert states in the Great Basin. Then you can see it gets right to the divide, that moisture does. So there is going to be a little bit of high elevation snow activity in the mountains of southern Wyoming, western Colorado, western Wyoming, Idaho, into the mountains of Utah, nothing to write home about. But there's going to be a little bit of fresh snow for you skiers on New Year's Day and especially into the day on Friday. But you get out into the plains, it's the same old story. So snowfall through Friday looks like this. Now wave number two 
will be coming in over the weekend. There's another little ripple right here that's going to get ejected through the Rockies on Saturday into early Sunday. But the main low, again, remains stuck because of the blocking patterns continuing through the end of the weekend here. But this will focus strong onshore flow and very strong moisture flow into the West Coast. So this is round two. This is the 48-hour period basically from midday Saturday through midday Monday. So you can see central and northern California gets very rainy, very snowy in the mountains again, more significant rain in southern California, and there's going to be some ejection this weekend of a little bit of snow shower activity into the Rockies, not much, but a little bit as that secondary wave pushes through. And then we continue to have just white in the nation's midsection, and again, nothing. So total precipitation from both waves through Monday is very impressive again for California and into the desert states. So what happens next? Well, that's your snowfall totals from today through Monday. So you can see several more feet of snow for the Sierra Nevada. And we'll see some decent snows in the central Rockies. But again, snow levels are going to be fairly high. So as we get into next week, now we're into block watch. This is for next Thursday, January 8th. Okay, take a look at where the blocks have been. The Aleutians, we have a low pressure system, so the block isn't there. We also see, here's Greenland right here. The high, the Greenland block is still there, but it's shifting eastward. So we finally have a change. This is gonna be developing next week. So we're, we're looking at real consistency in the modeling. There's no guarantee that uh, this is going to happen, obviously, but we like what we're seeing in terms of the models being consistent in shifting the Greenland block east, and instead of a big ridge of high pressure in the Aleutians, we now have a deep storm. And notice this right here. We're starting to see high pressure developing in the eastern Pacific, and that's critical to get the weather to come inland instead of coming down off the west coast. So this next stormy pattern that's going to develop in British Columbia, which for the last four weeks, they've been coming into here, then going this way, then curving around and weakening. Well, if this pattern does develop, then these waves will come into the Rockies, then eventually into the plains, then across the U.S., initiating a change in the blocking pattern. So we'll just have to continue to watch and see what happens in the days ahead. Have yourself a good New Year's Eve and a happy new year tomorrow. We will have a brief update for you on New Year's Day.